So we all know that Sammy Guevara is now on Chris Jericho's shit list, but here's 10 things that you probably didn't know about him. So I need you guys to leave a comment down below with what you consider a long-term relationship. And don't worry, I'll let you know why in like two minutes. So let's just get into it. Number 10, he was trained by Booker T. Sammy Guevara began as a professional wrestler in 2013 and was trained at six-time World Heavyweight Champion and WWE Hall of Famer Booker T's school, The Reality of Wrestling. Number nine. He started wrestling at 19. Sammy's still pretty young, only 27, and hence started young, making his first appearance for a major wrestling promotion in January of 2013. Number eight. He was inspired to wrestle by Shawn Michaels. Just like his former mentor, Chris Jericho, Sammy wanted to become a wrestler after watching HBK in action as an 11-year-old kid and after adopting parts of Michael's moveset in his performances. Number seven, he got suspended from AEW in 2020. This happened after some remarks about Sasha Banks from 2016 resurfaced in 2020. So he got suspended to take sensitivity training. Number six, he snuck backstage at WrestleMania 25. Sammy attended the show and decided he wanted more and started working as part of the ring crew. He actually hopped over the barricade when he thought no one was looking and started messing around with the rig apron, hoping for the best. The 16-year-old Sammy then managed to sneak himself backstage where he met Randy Orton, Jeff Hardy, and others. WWE staff later figured out he wasn't part of the crew and kicked him out. <laughs> Number five, he tried out for WWE. Sammy has revealed that he tried out for WWE in 2017 and even had some dark matches with the promotion. But the tryouts turned Sammy off to WWE as he felt the company was more interested in the ex-football players and models than they were wrestlers themselves. Number four, he is big on YouTube. Sammy has his own verified YouTube channel that has over 140,000 subscribers and more than 12 million views at the time of recording this video. He's posted up more than 300 vlogs on it. And if you ask me, I typically check out Sammy's channel before I do being the elite. Number three, he has a lot of wrestling experience prior to AEW. Apart from the dark matches in WWE, Sammy wrestled for Mexico's AAA. He made his Lucha Libre AAA worldwide debut in 2018 and won the AAA World Cruiserweight Championship at Triple Mania 26. He also wrestled for Lucha Underground, PWG, NWA, and has also competed in Pakistan, winning the PWFP United Championship, holding it for 340 days. Number two, he got pulled from a TNA taping. Sammy was pulled from an Impact Wrestling appearance when he didn't like their idea and suggested his own and they canceled it. Number one, and this is why I needed you guys to leave a comment with how long you think a long-term relationship actually is, because I believe that Sammy's in one, but he's in more than one. I'll tell you why in a second. He's been in a relationship with his girlfriend, Pam, for eight years. While we've seen him on the big screen, kissing Brandy's pictures and trying to get the numbers of Vanessa Hudgens and Victoria Justice's sister, it's all for the show. And he's actually taken in real life. So when I was making this list, I was thinking like, how long is an actual real long-term relationship? So I looked it up and it says, long-term relationships tend to last anywhere between two and three years with a couple breaking up at this time. Not surprisingly, this is when a couple experiences an oxytocin dip and feels less infatuated with each other. They may begin to notice issues that bother them and feel unsolvable. Others go on to continue to commit to each other. So Sammy is in like a four-time long-term relationship. He's in a long, long-term relationship, so he's definitely taking guys. But he hasn't yet proposed, so... Yeah, but that's all I got for you today, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos just like this every day except for Sunday, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.